Hello, welcome to the Crafting Shares. I'm Ruth from Beltane Gifts and today we're going to be making one of these which is a needle felted and wet felted little person. Well, the reason I thought I'd make this is because I've done lots of different basic shapes and things that you can build on and use to create your own projects and I thought it'd be nice to do something quite simple but just a little bit different really. So why not try a person? Now please excuse the sound in the background, it is raining at the moment and you can probably tell by the very bad green screen around me that I am not actually at the shop. I did try filming there, there was a lot of shouting that I had to edit out in the background. So I've decided that the videos are going to be done at home still and you might notice that my little face isn't in the top corner of the videos and that's because I haven't actually managed to set up the video setup inside yet so that I can film myself and what I'm doing. Um, but I prefer it. <laughs> it's so much easier to edit. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. If you do, definitely give me that thumbs up and click on that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. And I will be using this project as the foundation for some future projects, so definitely keep your eye open for those. For today's project we're going to need some finger protectors, a felting pad, this one's a cloth bag filled with rice, and a selection of needles. I've got a small, medium and large generic needle there, all in handles. For fibre I'm going to be using this which is Ida Roving. Now Ida is a breed of German hill sheep and the wool is coarser, it's more bulky than the stuff I would normally use but this is perfect for making 3D shapes and what I like to do is use this to create the, the base foundation for my project and then cover over it using more expensive coloured fibres. So to get started with this, because it's roving it's all in a continuous length, we need to mess it up a little bit. So what I like to do is just lightly grip the roving with my left hand, with my right hand just grip the ends right at the end and pull. And what this does is it just allows me to take off just the natural length of the fibre, so the fibre is that long. And it makes it much easier doing it this way so I can get a nice even mess of fibres. So I'm just going to pull off sections until I've got a handful and then just going to mess the fibre up just by pulling it apart and twisting it and just keep doing this until you've got a nicely messed up ball of fibre. Okay, once we've got our ball of fibre I'm just going to pull some sections off and do this gradually because we, what we want to do is just outline the shape we want to create, gingerbread man shape really. So I'm going to start off with the head and just stab round in a circle. Now I'm not doing these stabs too closely together, what I want to do is just get the basic shape. I don't want to stab too much now because it will just attach it to the cushion and that will be a nightmare to get off later. So just a rough circle there and then I'm going to just pull off some more sections and we'll start with an arm and then the same again on the other side. And we want to get them kind of generally the same size. We can change them later if we need to, but try and get about the same amount of fibre. It just makes things easier for yourself. So I'm just going to do the torso now. And then we're going to use some more to do some legs. Okay, so now I've got the basic shape, I'm just going to go over adding bits of fibre on top. Now this isn't the, the finished thickness that I'm going to be creating, I just want to bulk it out a little bit just to give it a bit of structural integrity, I guess, before I peel it off. Okay, so once we've got our basic shape, I'm just going to swap down to my, my medium needle and I'm just going to go over the whole thing a little bit closer together this time, but not too much because we, again, don't want to stick it to the cushion. And what I'm doing is just bringing all these loose bits in and just felting it that little bit so that when we pull it off the cushion, we're not going to lose bits. Okay, I'm going to give this a go. Now, to peel it off, what we're going to do is just work from one end, so I'm starting at the legs, and I'm just pinching as close as I can to where the fibre meets the cushion and just pulling it off really gently, trying to catch hold of everything that's attached. You can see there where it's really attached into the cushion, so I'm pinching as close as I can and just kind of pulling off. Now if you don't do this, what you'll find is that the bit that you've felted will start to stretch because it isn't felted very well yet. So yeah, take it slow, pinch as hard as you can as you're pulling off and make sure you're kind of gathering it up as you go. 
Now if you do overstretch something at this point, it's not the end of the world. It just makes things a little bit harder for yourself. There we go. So that's our basic shape. I'm just turning it over now. And what I'm going to do is do exactly the same as I did before adding extra fibre. I'm going to do it on this side this time. Okay, so pop it on. I'm using my, my big needle again at this point, just because my medium one's just a bit too fine. And we're going to keep doing this, just turning over every now and then, and just adding fibre to both sides until it starts to bulk up and we're kind of happy with the thickness. Now you might notice when I'm adding some of my fibre that I am adding it in lengths rather than messing it up too much and this is just to help with the stability of the whole project because once you've got the longer lengths they kind of link those different sections and this is going to be helpful if we decide to pop this in the washing machine. Once you've got as much fibre on here as you think you're going to need, you can always add more later. Things like the arms, I can make those longer if I want to. But what I'm going to do now is just start peeling off. You'll find the more you stab this, the less you actually need to peel because the fibres will start connecting with each other rather than the cushion. And what you'll find is you've got quite a fluffy and kind of loose doll shape. And what we need to do now is start bringing everything in and defining everything. So once you start shaping, what you have to imagine is there's a stick figure man inside your gingerbread man shape and with those lines that are going through they're what you're going to be aiming for so say in the torso here you imagine there's a line coming down from the neck through the body and when I'm stabbing I'm going to be stabbing with my needle always pointing towards that central line so I'll be stabbing from different angles just working my way over and round and what this will do is just round out this section same with the legs I'm going to be imagining that there's a line straight through the center and my needle will always be stabbing towards that central line which will round out these legs and arms now the only difference is with the head. What I'm imagining with the head is that there's just a point inside because I'm wanting to make this into more of a ball shape. So I'll imagine a dot inside this head section and the needle will always be stabbing towards that point. So D from the side, I'm gonna be stabbing round at different angles, always aiming towards that central point. So it's been about 20-25 minutes of stabbing and there's certain areas that I really need to bulk up a little bit. I'm quite happy with the arms and legs thickness wise, I think the torso and head are just going to need a little bit more fibre before I can really start shaping those properly. So I'm just going to add some more fibre to the head and torso, exactly the same as I did before. Um, this time I'm going to mess it up quite a bit beforehand just because um, I I don't want this to show quite so much, I want to get quite a nice smooth finish to the outside. So messier is better in this case. I might swap back to my big needle just to anchor this into place. And I'm just going to fill in areas that I think need just a bit more fibre. And you might need to add on both sides of the body, depends how your, your stabbing's gone. And you can also use this point to add features if you wanted to give him belly or boobs or um, big chin you can do that now <laughs> and if any of your proportions are wrong at this point so if any of your arms or legs need lengthening now's a good time to add that fiber here is our felted little person now this is still quite squishy in places if you can see here I can definitely pinch that quite a lot 
Now if you wanted to you can felt over the whole thing and just make it even denser. Um, what I would do is just keep going over with your fine needle just until you've got the effect you want. But what I'm actually going to do with this is I'm going to pop it into the washing machine. Now if you're going to do this and you're going to wash it I would definitely recommend putting it in with some other things so that you don't end up just wasting water and things. I would definitely not put it in with anything that's woolen though or anything with fibres coming off it just because you will find that the two will kind of felt together in the wash which is something we don't want. So yeah just pop it in with maybe bed sheets and things like that as long as you're not allergic to wool and what happens when it comes out is it looks a bit like this. Now this is definitely smaller than it was originally and it's if you have a look it's a little bit more uneven um, I have gone over this with a fine felting needle after it came out just because it was even more so. I'm going to pop some pictures of the before and after up and I've put those next to a ruler just so you get an idea of the, the amount of loss in size that you get. And if I just bring the other one in again, if you look here you can see just there's holes where it's been felted, there's lines where the fibres are. Once it's been in the washing machine everything just kind of just smooths out a little bit and it's definitely more densely felted now which is great. Now I do love that when you put it into the washing machine you don't know what you're going to get back out. I find that quite fun. If you wanted a bit more control and you want it to maintain its shape I would definitely not pop it in the washing machine. Just continue with your felting until you get it exactly how you want. Now with either of these you can still felt onto them. You can add different features. Um, this one would actually be quite cute I think if we just added some bunny ears and a little nose. I turn it into a little bunny toy or a little bear it could be a little person if we wanted to in which case you can either felt on clothing if you wanted or you can actually make them out of material you can do whatever you want with it really I think these would make quite cute little dolls so what I decided to do now that we've got our basic tutorial on how to make one I'm going to be using this as the foundation and showing you how to make them into different characters so definitely if you're not subscribed already click on that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future videos if you've enjoyed the video click on that thumbs up if you haven't enjoyed it you can click on that thumbs down it hurts my feelings but go for it and any comments any questions definitely pop them down there in the comments section I love to hear from you guys and I will get back to you as soon as I can stay safe stay warm and I will see you again soon for another crafting video yeah.